Hello ladies and gentlemen, James Spilling here once again. So today I am continuing a sort of a vague series that I started uh, using the tune track Easy Instruments. So Easy Keys, Easy Drummer and Easy Bass. Now recently I, I wrote a very positive track um, called Do It Again um, where I used the Easy Instruments and I added to that a sort of a big band flavour, a virtual big band flavour using Project Sam's uh, Swing and Swing More. Um, there's the link, by the way, if you want to watch it. But today we're at a stage where uh, the pandemic is still with us. However, the vaccines are rolling out and actually lockdowns are easing and we can come together again. So I have taken the track that I wrote. I have rearranged it. Um, I've rewritten some lyrics and I've renamed it Together Again instead of Do It Again. Um and of course, I have changed the style. Of course I have. So it's not big band anymore. It is sort of soul pop big band. And the instruments that I've used along with the tune track Easy Instruments are East West Hollywood backup singers and East West Hollywood pop brass. One added little bonus. Um, I can't sing soul, but I'm incredibly lucky that I know somebody who can. Some of you may have heard him on Strictly Come Dancing, as he is always on there, singing his heart out. Um, but my lovely, lovely dear colleague, uh, Lance Ellington, um, has provided me the vocals, um, and I'm forever grateful to him. So if you'd rather not listen to me rabbit on about how I did this track and uh, arranged this track using these instruments, um, you can, of course, go and listen to the track. It's on a different video again. Um, because, ladies and gentlemen, the puppets are back. I just thought it was fun. So I, was, I did it again. I did it again. I brought them together again. It's just supposed to put a smile on people's faces. So if it puts a smile on your face, I've done my job. So I'll leave the link below and probably at the end. And if I can above, I'll do it now. Um... Anyway, uh, so in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I will show you what I've done to create this track. I will briefly show you the easy instruments again, but I also will show you pop brass and uh, Hollywood backup singers in all their glory. See you on the other side. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is the track. Um, <laughs> it looks a mess at the minute, but I will tell you my process for those who don't know. So I like to start with a chord chart, and this is my chord chart for it. This is, uh, I've just used my faithful mini grand, and I just record it in. This is it. For those who've watched Do It Again and the virtual big band, it is exactly the same. Anyway, what I then do is I um, then put it into easy keys. I literally record this in to the to the piano roll in here. In fact, shall I show you how I do it? So what I'm going to do, for all intents and purposes, I'm just going to take this, I'm going to put it into the easy keys channel, just so you know how I do it. Um, you press record, uh, follow host, and press play, I think. Yes, it's the uh, electric piano. I thought more solely than just. Anyway, so uh, if you go into here, it then gives you all these lovely chords. Yeah. So I want it to be soul. So what do I do? Um, I go into here and I use browser MIDI. Let's go for. Detroit Soul, why not? Let's go straight. Let's intro, let's... I don't like that. Don't like that. I like that. So I'm going to replace that. Boom. Done. So I can get rid of the mini grand now. Um, um, so it's as easy as that. So what I then did, if you look... I did that for the whole piece. Where I just went through, found bits that I like. Occasionally I'd play it in if I wanted a, a particular thing, but this is what I ended up with. That's it. 
Um, now, easy base. Um, if you want to see a proper walkthrough of me doing it on the easy base, there's the link to my original easy trio. But all I do um, is I record in the audio. I recorded in the audio from the easy keys, or rather in this case the mini grand, um, and it creates a bass line. And I do exactly the same for the bass line. Um, I, I find a groove that I like, and you know, you, you just replace MIDI and you find something that you like up here, and I like that. You know, and yeah, and then you just you commit, and it couldn't it could not be easier. Um, by the way, two track, I'm still waiting for the acoustic bass. Please make one. I'd love you if you did. Anyway, um, and this is what I came up with. don't think it's that dodgy anyway um i'm gonna race on and the easy drummer exactly the same process i find a groove that i like in this case i went with soul um i went with a uh, detroit soul straight i found these i put it into my song creator and then you get all of these lovely things to choose from chorus bridge Fills very important. Yeah, and then I make a song track. Look, all of that. There you go. And then I just drag that into my uh, DAW. Drag, 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 drag. Again, uh, this is more in depth on the other videos, but I've just dragged it in, and then you get that's my drum. So this is my bass and my keys. See what I mean? Um, it couldn't be easier. Now, because it's sort of funkier soul, uh, it's the take it home section. I wanted to have an organ. And I used the, <laughs> the bass, I used, I just noticed I'm so excited preset. I used the basic, um, uh, you know, vintage organ um, from Native Instruments. This is it. Yeah. And with the trio together, it sounds like this. So this is me just playing it in. Yeah. Right. Now, also, another thing that I decided to do, I decided to add, add a guitar. Now, tune track, please make an easy guitar. <laughs> Just saying, because then we could do an easy quartet. Here's the ample sound. This is this is my ample guitar. And uh, I, I literally just used the, the funk here and I just strummed chords. I think I used the strummer. So this is it on its own. Let's turn you off actually. So here we go on its own from the take it home bit. These are all key switches, by the way. I'll do a I'll do a video on the ample sound ample sound stuff because I do think they're fab. But I mean, I could have gone into more um, depth with that and and taken a lot of time over you know little articulations and everything but I added um, CLA guitars bit of bite and this is what you get with it yeah I I didn't need any more than that I didn't need you know um, a proper strum I just wanted that chat chat so with all of those together it sounded like this Yeah, right. 
feeling the groove now one other thing i did before we get onto the um backing vocals and the pop brass is i wanted it a little bit more modern solely so i went for machine and i just i just added um another kick a couple of snares and some more claps just to make it sound sort of more um grungy is the word particularly the kits and the snares so without snares the snares that is that loose snare that i wanted oh it's very sunny now this is with the extra bass um and easy drummer just gives it a bit more fatness you know and these with the extra snares it's like loose Flamming. Claps. Right, let's add everything else, shall we? Guitars and organ. So, that was the groove that I wanted out of all of that. Um, and of course I bounced it down um, to save on CPU. So what did I do? Okay, yep. Yeah. Um, I did my baritone sax first. So I actually went back to swing more and just used my baritone sax. Now here we go. I'll keep the yaw. Yeah, so that's my barry. Let me show you a uh, pop brass. Um, Right, now, let me show you this play engine um, and Hollywood Pop Brass. So, these are my East-West instruments. Um, so, you've got sustains, shorts, effects, legatos, uh, combos, phrases, licks, key switches. I'll just show you what you can do. So, um, this is the fr first phrase. I mean, how good does that sound? Isn't that cool? Uh, let's do licks, shall we? Oh. Good. So on the key switch uh, patch, you have the effects, licks, phrases, and I basically I just I just used this one because I was because I was in a rush, really. Um, so uh, let me show you what you can do with effects. Let's replace that. Nice, isn't it? And these are our key switches. And if you look at the player, these are the actual key switches. So you've got trills, you've got growls, you've got rips, you've got, you know, I can't quite read that, my glasses. Um, falls. I mean, how good is that? Um, now, if you go to the mixer section, you'll see what we've got. You've actually got trumpets, bones, and sax. So you've got tenor sax, sax effect in there. You can pan them separately. You can uh, separate the room, and you can separate the surround mics. Uh, basically, with all my instruments, I, I wanted to make them the same. Now, I could have spent more time and uh, literally got the trumpets on their own. So this is the trumpets on their own. Yeah, this, these are the bones on their own. However, you can still hear the trumpets because of the mic bleed. These are the saxes on their own. Yeah, that's a sort of a tenor. But I wanted a barry on its own. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. I panned them. Uh, I can't remember if I did it like that or not. And you separate it. That's good enough for me. Now, because I didn't want just... <laughs> that I wanted it kind of bigger I sort of decided that I wanted two bands I wanted one band on the left and one band on the right just to make it big so when it came to the bounce downs I recorded them all close mic'd but then I also wanted just a separate um, room as it were um, so I soloed the surround <laughs> 
and it just you know it's it um those are your closes yeah that's your close this is your surround just gives it the room um because i like the control uh let me just show you a phrase and these key switches are different phrases <laughs> oh it it does sound phenomenal to me oh, love it now these phrases are not put into trumpets bones and saxes they are section one section two so um slightly annoyingly they, they do sound ever so slightly different um because there are a couple of phrases i just loved anyway i couldn't i couldn't resist but i put them in you can pan them these are section one this is section two mids yeah <laughs> surrounds I mean, just yeah. Um, so I I tried my best. I tried my best to to blend them all. Anyway, let me show you all my brass parts. So it looks a bit of a mess, but um, the top one uh, was phrases again. These were licks and shorts, um, and that would have been the as it were the first band. And on the second, I encouraged I don't know a different part or a lower part just to give it a little bit of arrangement I'll just show you what I've got in here I've got phrases licks uh, shorts effects again shorts and uh, a legato here now these are all key switch based so uh, if you if I go into any one of these um, Look, these are the key switches and these are the actual notes. So down here is an awful lot of key switch act activity going on. Um, but that's just the way I, I like to work. Um, this is my brass section. With my sax. Yeah? Now, should we go to the take it home section and I'll just play what I did? Um, and I'll start adding some instruments, shall I? Let's add. Easy drummer. Easy bass. Easy keys. Organ. Guitar. Now, that's not mixed but you get the idea. Um, let's talk backing vocals and particular backup singers. So you have um, vowels, consonants, solo phrases, key switches, uh, the word builder, which I did try a little bit. So let's just, I'll, I'll just show you this. Um, so these are ours. <laughs> Again, you have reverb, and you have all of these fab mic positions. Room. Obviously, they don't replace the proper thing, and I should know. Um, uh, let's go for solo phrases, because uh, quite frankly, it's pretty cool. Uh. I mean, that's the best thing about it. Anyway, <laughs> it's just fab. Right, key switches. Again, solo phrases, vowels. Basically, what I've used for this, all I wanted was a bit of an ooh and a word builder. So, rhythm section and backing. Yeah, getting the feeling. Now, the excitement I basically wanted at the end, where, if you remember the other track, it would went new day, a new day, or whatever, I can't quite remember. Anyway, I wanted to create 
the words a new day. So I put in Word Builder, didn't I? Um, and this is what you do. I <laughs> meow day. And um, look at the tutorial, by the way. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll, I might do a tutorial on this in another day. But, um, <laughs> I mean, it's quite funny, but this is what I came up with. See if it, see if it sounds at all like it. It's a bit dull. Yeah, that sort of sounds new dayish. Anyway, um, with the rhythm section, with the brass, this is the backing vocals. vocals. Here we go. Yeah, right, okay, I'm gonna show you my bounces. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, this is the track. This was my full mix and I will show you uh, the vocals, um, what I've done to them. And uh, very, very kindly, Lance has agreed that I can show you this, so, so thank you, Lance. Basically, what I did is I uh, compressed it, I put a bit of EQ on it, um, I de-essed it, I put a bit of, um, multi-band expansion and compression on it um you know c-force to tame it and um and that was basically it um um i've put everything into reverbs i've put everything into own, their own spaces um let me play the backing now with him this is rhythm section brass lance's creamy vocals and backup singers bridge section we're all meant to embrace and smile We'll chase the face of the lonely Away from the wild You kind of wait us Yeah, um, right, let me just explain to you uh, how I separated the, the band So if you remember, I wanted two bands one, one on the left, one on the right So this is the take it home section with just the brass And hopefully you can hear the right and left Yeah, so I'm going to do the similar thing that I did on the other one. I'm going to um, put this on loop and basically gradually add the instruments, okay? So let's start with the drums. Keys, organ, rhythm section. Kicks. So that's the full rhythm section there. Let's add the BVs. Let's add. Oh, what a bit. Barry next, shall we? There. Let's add the Barry room. Uh, let's add. Add the band room. And then I will add Lancey. With the verb. A new day. Woo! It's a new day. Well, it's a new day. Well,
Um, that puts a smile on my face. So I love it for that. Um, and thank you to Lance. The East West products, I, I love, I love, I love the East West products. Um, and I don't actually use them enough and I should use them more. So if you want to watch the full track, please do head over and watch the full video. Again, I've been silly. I've got puppets involved. <laughs> <laughs> because it just makes me smile um, and that's the purpose of it it's supposed to put a smile in your face um, in these dark times just a little bit of positivity of we're all coming together once more anyway um, that's me that's me done um, enjoy this enjoy the video of the puppets <laughs> he's back if you like this please give it a like if you like what I do uh, please do subscribe and uh, ring the bell and you'll be notified of anything else I do in the future Take care, everybody.